Hi ladies and gentlemen and welcome to IT Snippets. Today I'm going to show you how to install Make MKV inside Unraid and how to pass your optical drives through. With that in mind, let's get started. As you can see in front of me, I have already logged into my Unraid server. I need to go to Apps and then search for Make MKV. There are two versions that show up. Personally, as I'm running the bin hex plex, I use the bin hex version, so I just click on Actions. You can see I've previously installed it, but I'm going to click Install for the new version. Okay, so inside here, I'm just going to leave everything as default. We do need to make changes to this in order for it to work correctly, but in case people miss these steps, I'm actually going to go through what will happen if you don't. So with that in mind, I'm just going to go down the bottom. I'm going to click apply. OK, it's actually pulled down the image now. And it's running it, as you can see here, and using the settings we've provided. If we click done, it should refresh back. We can click on our dashboard. And we can see that it's already started it. So if I click on it and go to the web interface, you will see it says this program can't find any usable optical drives. Okay, so we have to close this down because it's no good to us that way. Click on here and click stop. Now we need to go up here and open a command prompt. Then we need to type ls scsi dash d which means list SCSI devices. And here you can see I have two drives attached. Now the things we need to remember are the two devices attached to it. So SR0 and SR1 and SG1 and SG2, okay? So if I close that, after taking note of them, we need to go to our Make MKV, we need to click on it and select Edit. Then we need to click basic view in the corner so it moves to advanced view then we need to scroll down to extra parameters now inside extra parameters we need to put dash dash device equals and then the paths that i just showed you so in my case and i'll bring the window back in to show you in a moment it's dash dash device equals slash dev slash sr1 then space dash dash device equals slash dev slash sg1 that's for my first drive and then the same with sr1 and sg2 which is my second drive now to confirm where i got these I'll just bring that into the screen here sr0 sr1 sg1 sg2 so i can move that back out the screen just now go back down and click apply there we go, it's now restarted it, as we can have a quick look down here and we can see that it's added additional parameters that we asked it to. So click done. Now for some people, all they have to do is open it again and it works fine. However, this did not work for me, as you can see. And people are getting very frustrated by this. I've tried both versions of Make MKV and they do the same thing. However, if we close this again and we stop it again. And we click on it and go to edit again. If we scroll down here, we can see key 5 and key 6, which is the PUID and the PGID. This means that it's been set up to be owned by nobody and be in zero groups. Now, if we change that to zero, to zero, zero, and click apply. We can see that it's changed in here and we can click done. And now when we open it, the error is gone. Now the reason behind this, that change we've just made is it is now running as root rather than running as a nobody user. It appears that in Unraid you need, you need root to be able to pass through the hardware. If you like this video, give it a like. If you dislike this video, give it a dislike too. If you get feedback in this or any other videos or suggestions for videos you believe we should do in the future, then please let us know in the comments below. And most of all, thank you for watching.